We're going looking for some deep drops, some big girls off the bottom on the jig. We'll see what happens, eh? We will be getting this boat back up until September. And then from September on, I'll sit down with you just a little bit later on and explain exactly what's going on from September on. It's pretty, pretty cool. It's absolutely beautiful at the moment. And we're getting out there. A little in-house competition happened. We're gonna use our little mini rods, light line, light gear. Bought a couple of jigs the other day. We're gonna drop them down 100 and have a little competition to see if we can get a big fish off the bottom with this light gear. It's gonna be so fun. It's been almost a year since they've done a deep drop. They come here every year. It's gonna be so funny. It's gonna be good to see the boys get a few good fish. We've reached the spot, 115 meters on the old sounder there. The boys are just setting the winches up. That's gonna be pretty sick to do that. I've never done that before. The little rods here. It's absolutely beautiful out here. A little bit of chop. Look at that little honey hole there. Got heaps of bait up, ground on the bottom. Ooh, baby. First drop. Jig on the little light gear, 120 meters. I don't even know if I've got enough line. Look at that bottom. But, uh, find out. It's a little tip that Jared taught me. You want to pitch the line just up here. Keeps the jig going down straight instead of spinning it. There you go. Tip number one. I don't even have a fish. And I'm struggling to bring the jig up. <laughs> this thing's gonna snap for sure. Whoop. Oh shit, jeez. Watch where that comes out back out. Well, competition's over. I snapped my line as I was dropping it down. It just, it just busted off by itself. My career's over. I'm gonna get one of these other big girls in, see if I can catch, catch a fish. Jackson's still on. If you catch a fish, you win, Jacko. Jacko's on the fish down the back there on the jig off the bottom. Oh, he's getting smoked. If he lands this, he wins the competition because I'm out. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sacrifice this. You wanna get on that? I think I might even have one. What's going on here, Jacko? You get absolutely spanked. Did it come up that big or? He might have got shot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's shocking. That's your bra, mate. I don't know, I know. I don't know. What's that? <laughs> oh yeah. You got all red off the broom. Oh yeah, when it kicks, eh? Yeah, you can tell it, eh? Jack, you snap off. Oh, Jackson lost whatever that was. Shit, this is tiring, man. Head shakes all the way up. How's that? I stuck. I think I got a little one on the bottom. You're like, nah. It was pretty good. A couple of winches and it's on. So lucky color. Good color. Here we go. Oh, that's a good fish. What do we got? Oh, that's a good fish, man. Oh. Yes, I love you. Oh. Look at this thing. Oh, big large mountain nanny. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Holy shit. That hook has come out oh, baby. That's a nice one, mate. Oh. That's a nice fish. Well, how's that for a first fish off the bottom? Big large mouth nanny guy. Such a good fish. I never caught one this big. We caught a small one compared to this last week. Oh, I'm so stoked. I'm so jealous. Oh, we'll go, shit. We'll go back around, Jacko. Turn away. 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 Turn away.
That ground is actually a bit of ground we found sounding up on the way out here. Just lit up the sounder. First drop, I didn't even know I had it. Like, I thought it was just a little pissy fish, so I've left it on the bottom. Went and filmed Jacko hook up. When the jig come back, started whining. He's like, Doo! And I bring that up, I'm so happy, hey. But anyway, second drop. Let's see what happens, see if we can get a couple of hookups around the boat. Cool, this is, this is so much fun, hey. Straight away, as soon as you hit the bottom, boom, on. This thing's a horse, whatever this is. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at that big old LB there doing work. <laughs> get it up, son. No, it's red. It's red. It's a red. It's a red. It's a red! Yes! <laughs> oh, that is a great fish, my man. Beautiful, beauty! What a fish, hey, baby. Look at that big old red emperor off the bottom. Second fish. What a banger. Good work, man. Get her in on ice. Woohoo! Yeah, the skip. <laughs> How are you going down the back there, Jacko? Anything? Hey, <laughs> bitch. The tins are coming out. The boys are getting on the beers. Two drops, two amazing fish. We're going for the third drop now. It's a goldie. Bring him back here, Chug. Beautiful fish. Oh, good goldie. Oh, no. What is it? It's a amberjack. Oh, no. We thought it was a goldie. All right, let's see if we can swim this guy away. Um, pop, pop him down there. Just let him, don't push him back. Just let, hold him there. That's it, he's gone. Straight away. He had heaps of kick. Back eye on the tins. <laughs> Throw it at him. <laughs> Two absolutely banging fish off that first drift. We're gonna st keep steaming about 10 k's to one of these other spots we found on the way out here. Drop her down, fingers crossed for something. We want to chase gold bands now, but Whatever we can get, we'll see what happens. Hey, this, this is so much fun. Probably a puffer fish. <laughs> you getting puffed? Yeah. Dad bod? Four beers deep and he's puffing. <laughs> oh, he's shipping me. <laughs> see ya, mate. There he goes. Oh, he's off like a rocket. Got a bit of weight to it? Yeah. What about the fish? <laughs> Yeah, he's on to it. You pushed in the minute, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jackson! <laughs> Beautiful gold band snapper. That's what we sort of come out here for. Great fish, Jacko. What well up, man? Beautiful fish. Yep, yeah, chuck him in the chiller. All right, that's it for the deep drops for now. We've got a couple of banging fish, eh? It's really, really good fish. Such good fun. So we're going to start steaming back towards land now. When we get into a bit more shallow, I might get the drone up in the air.
Ja, little bugger. These things are weapons, eh? Such a good day out. We just got to fill the fish now. Just have to go straight across the road there to fill the fish. So I've been talking with the boys all day and what's going to happen? September this year we're going to be in Perth and we're going to reveal the brand new Genesis YBS craft that these boys and ourselves have been designing for the last month or two. It's going to be ready by then. It's going to be an absolute beast. We're going to the Cuddy Cabin, very similar to this one that we've got now. But Mercury have hopped on board. It's going to be twin donks on the back. Simrad have jumped on. There's going to be sound as it's coming out of our boots. And look, this thing's going to be an absolute beast. We cannot wait to show you guys. And I'm going to probably do a few trips down down south and film a bit as it's getting created so you guys can see the whole process. Like I said, September at the, at the Perth Boat Show, we will be there. I'll do a meet and greet, meet all you guys and we'll review our boat. So pencil that in now because it's going to be absolutely crazy. I'm super excited about it and that's what we've been keeping a secret for. We do get this boat back, our one that we got now, in a couple of weeks and that's why I haven't named the boat yet because we are actually getting a brand new one designed top to bottom and we're going to call that the Sea Strider. <laughs> Guys, I'll take you aboard the 750 Islander. Look at the grip. This is, oh my God, are you kidding me? Look at this thing. Got the brand new 300 Merc on the back. The twin sounder. Man. This thing's a beast, eh? This is a beast of a boat. All right, just down at the local fueling station here. Everyone comes down after they go on some fish and throw some fish, talking shit. These guys got massive rubies. Loose, man. That one there'd be over 20. Easy. You're on it? But this yeah, nah, beautiful large map, and then you go, hey. Look at that, huh? White as white. Look at that. Big slab. Beautiful fresh fish. So nice. Beautiful, didn't leave much of that. A couple of fans come up, said g'day. So shout out to those guys who come and took the time to catch up with us while we're over there. Um, we forgot an esky, so we've gone and bought a bucket. 12 bucks for this. Got some ice in here. We'll cover this and that'll keep it cool for the trip home. We've got to get our stuff out the boat, get a boogie on and get home. Because, um, yeah, like I said, jacko has got to go to work tomorrow and I've got so much editing to do. And tomorrow, I reckon, when I get some time, we'll go back down to the beach and cook up a bit of this. It's going to be so good. All right, we'll uh, quickly get into it and um, see you guys tomorrow back at home i've shot down the coast and gone out fishing again i wanted to get something big off my jet ski maybe i did maybe i didn't you'll see it in the next episode anyway guys what i'm doing here is i got a bit carried away i was meant to come down here and cook some fish wraps and finish the episode with the genesis boys but it got carried away i ended up dropping the ski in and spending nearly the whole day out there jigging off the bottom but you're gonna have to wait for that episode anyway what i'll do is i've already cooked up some nanya guy and I've got it in the back of the angle there and I'm going to smash some fish wraps right now because I'm starving. It's been a big, good day and I've got a couple of fresh episodes coming your way, guys. But it's time to eat some Nanya Guy fish wraps. Whoo, what a day. These guys have no idea what went down. In the shade, man. I got cooked today on the ski. Absolutely belted all day in the sun. Here we go, some pure honey. Nah, just joking. This is actually the Nanya Guy. Cooked it earlier on. Oh, I cut my finger. Look at that, some golden nugget nanny guy. Hell yeah. I'm not gonna go raps, I'm just gonna go some sangers. Here we go. Got the fresh nanny guy right there. Bit of bread, a little bit of cheese, some green shit. Just chuck it on, you know how it is. And the secret sauce. Oh, thanks to the Genesis boys for hooking us with that boat, looking after us and uh, taking us fishing yesterday. It was such a good fun day. Today, out in the ski, another great day. I can't wait to show you guys. Man, I better smash this and uh, see what happens. I've got some editing to do, but I wouldn't mind going camping tonight. I'll see what happens. Anyway, cheers guys. Fresh down you go. Hey, I just want to 
I just want to thank you guys for all your support. For me to be able to do this full time now is honestly unbelievable. I hope you guys are enjoying some of these fishing episodes. A little bit different, you know. Just mixing it up a bit. I'm really having a good time. That's probably it for another episode. But guys, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Buy some merch, youngbloods.co. If you want to support us, these guys don't have to, but appreciate everything. And yeah, I'm going to smash this Sanger. Pack the rest of the ski up from today's epic day. And shoot back into town and catch up with Strider Dog. Woo! All right, guys. Thanks so much and cheers. Yeah.